So we're talking about backyard ideas. Where do you go to get good backyard ideas, especially if you don't have an idea hat like I do? We're gonna to talk to you all about ways and places to go to get good backyard ideas right now in this video, enjoy. So the first bright idea with the idea hat is a, a no brainer, so to speak. And it's going to my website. We have so much there on backyard design with so many different styles. We have over 160 different portfolios and really the, the visions, the ideas are all over the place. So you have tons of style, tons of ideas. Ones if, if it's for pools, for hot tubs, for outdoor kitchens, we have you covered in so many different good backyard ideas in our portfolio. You'll be very happy that you went there. Another spot to get good outdoor living ideas is house.com. That's H-O-U-Z-Z.com. You probably already have seen it, but I'll have links below for that. Type in backyard living and you will have an endless amount of ideas. Great ideas too. So especially if you type in the style, let's say if your style is more modern or if you're looking for contemporary, you type that in with your backyard idea in house.com. All of a sudden you're gonna have truly more than you'll you'll need as far as good ideas. So try that out and that's a good resource, house.com. And of course, the third way is Pinterest. Pinterest will almost be your new addiction. If you get start diving in deep, you're gonna be addicted to it. The nice thing about Pinterest is uh, people are saving boards and so you can actually get other people's ideas from Pinterest, so it's a very nice resource. I'm sure you're already probably already addicted to it but that's another great resource, Pinterest for out good. And I wanna say this, good outdoor living, you don't wanna just Google it, you really need to use these boards, PinteresthHouse.com or even our portfolio. Now with outdoor living, you need to find out what you want to do. Like, what are you committing to? Do you want a fire feature? Do you want a pool? Do you want a, you know, an outdoor kitchen, a bar? Do you want an outdoor living space with maybe a TV? These are questions that really you need to answer. Very nice. Another good way to get ideas is when you travel, even these little weekend getaways that you go on, you might start getting ideas. You might go to an Airbnb, you might go to a little local uh, you know, hotel, and what attracts you about those spaces? One of my favorite stories that we were talking about with our clients, here we were interviewing them, and I was asking them, hey, what attracted you to this space? and she found the inspiration behind a vacation that she took with her husband. They went to Skamania Lodge. They had, the Skamania Lodge here had a beautiful bedroom. So one thing that uh, when we d talked about this outdoor space um, is the double-sided fireplace. Um, my inspiration was he took me to Skamania Lodge and we went and stayed in one of their tree houses. And it was beautiful, but what I loved about the treehouse was you were inside and you had the fireplace, but then you could go outside and be out on a, a deck. And then you had the outside elements of it. And I just thought it was a brilliant idea. And knowing the space you were gonna have, I'm like, please, let's go ahead and do a double-sided fireplace so we get so much more use of our space. And we just love it. So she loved that and wanted to duplicate that for her outdoor space. So that's what her inspiration was, was a vacation with her husband. It also gave her those warm and fuzzy memories that she had on that vacation. What I can remember 
remember is that we went on a trip to Southern California and visited an aunt that had a beautiful outdoor space and we came home really wanting the same thing and kind of wondering if you can have that kind of space in the northwest well we went on that trip and then we came back and looked at our yard that was grass all the way through and really wrapping around muddy, and muddy was wet grass. and we could just never use our yard other than one little concrete area right out of the back patio um, and so we wanted to be able to go outside like we we've been in california it was so fun to be outside in a yard go from inside to outside and here we couldn't do that and so it seems like we talked about it and then things were moving. Well, I just went online and did a search and just looked at the profiles, um, you know, the image gallery. I liked that there were a lot of um, mixes of styles and it was styled well and it looked like it was um, really concrete design. And within one phone call, was able to have that question answered that they were really firm that yes, you absolutely can have an outdoor lifestyle in the Northwest. Mike is the company owner, but we always get a cell phone and we called him multiple times and they came and then Molly came and met with you, which I thought that was so interesting because she kind of walked around our house, looked at things, got an idea of your style, talked about what we had inside, what we were looking for outside, and then took that information back and about a week later came back with the design that was amazing it's like three-dimensional a... model of what it would look like and then she showed us the design it was as soon as we saw it we said that we didn't know we wanted this but that's exactly how we want it to be because it just looked perfect Another place to get good ideas is the Street of Dreams or the Parade of Homes. And they let the community, the public come in, they tour these homes, they get good ideas for the inside and great ideas for the outdoors. So really think about whatever your local area, if they have the Parade of Homes, even if you have to travel a little bit to go to one, I would really recommend that. We tour the Street of Dreams as a design department every year. And we always get really good ideas from the Street of Dreams. It kind of lets people know Hey, this is what is the inn right now. And thing about the Street of Dreams is that we took a tour of a home and we took pictures. In fact, one of my designers just loved the space so much and found a lot of inspiration from that space. And a year later, they ended up calling us to even make the space that much better. That's right, Micah. I fell in love with the Goldbergs property inside and out. I took loads of cell phone shots and even found a magazine ad of their space that I put in my future ideas box. One year later, Team Paradise was building extra design features for them, and I was staging and coordinating a photo shoot there. Still love the space, it just plain old feels good. So how did the Goldbergs hear about Paradise Restored? Years before, we had designed an outdoor living space for the Chow family. Then they moved into a Street of Dreams home and contacted us to design their new backyard. They were full of excellent ideas. The Goldbergs must have gone back and forth as our crews were working and saw the transformation in the front of the home. Both renovations are gorgeous. So check them out in the website. So it's just fun to be able to get good ideas, use inspiration, and then hopefully be able to incorporate those into your own life in the future. So it's been a overall very, uh, very good experience. Um, this is actually our second project uh, with Paradise Restore. So. I think that was my idea, the central atrium. First of all, we've always had a koi pond in every single house we've had. I've never been able to enjoy the koi pond because it's like far away in the backyard, not very visible. And then we have ugly nets over them because of animals wanting to eat our fish and we had several of them die. So I wanted to be able to enjoy them in this house. Originally, I was gonna have the atrium be dry first because I wanted to kind of have a just indoor sitting area because we love enjoying the outdoors and the morning, but it is hard a lot of the time. 
but he really wanted to have another koi pond, so we did do that in there, and I'm happy. The fish look very beautiful in there. It's a very relaxing environment. The air circulation is wonderful. We were gonna have this chair in there, but I think we're gonna add some swing chairs in there, but it's a very peaceful place, and the sound of the water is really nice as well. And the lights yeah. at night. Really yeah, nice it really stands out uh, in the Asian culture. Uh, koi fish is a uh, symbol of good luck and prosperity. So I had to make sure I brought that with me to the new house. We insisted. <laughs> So something to think about as you're kind of getting all these designs in your mind is I would encourage a design, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I do not want you to take it from these ideas to the implementation. It will be a mistake and I don't want you to make mistakes. I really want you to grab these ideas and then get a designer. I would love it to be me. I want to help you out. I want to give you, paint the picture that's in your mind and put it in the computer with design in a 3D. I think she did a great job of making the design very fluid with our indoors um, so it seemed very cohesive and um, really fit what we already had and already loved and, and fit our style and our family and um, yeah I think they did they I love that Paradise Restored Molly and Micah really took their time getting to know us and what our family functions like what we like to do how we spend our time together to then create that design that you talked about that was like not what we could have come up with ourselves, but absolutely fit how, how we function, how we like to be close together, and just this really great just design plan. It was wonderful. We also love that anytime Micah called us, it was always first name basis. He always knew our name, and that definitely meant something to us. That was just such a, a, such a simple but meaningful touch that, that really made the difference for us. That was just the the idea of having some concrete and the, the cover, we wanted to have a lot of space so that the family could be outside. Obviously it gets a lot of wet, really wet where we're at a lot of time. Um, and we had actually had someone helping us out before just kind of try to get some design ideas and felt like we weren't quite getting listened to very much. We wanted to explore a couple different ways and, and every single time the design came back, it was kind of the same like sketch. And so having your 3D design and then being able to look at that in a big print and then say, well, what about this or that? and then be able to adjust it pretty quickly. It was really cool and helped us out a lot. So, maybe just mention, how, what did it look like, the other one? Was it a 2D, like just a hand one? It was just a hand sketch on a pad. Yeah, yeah. And, I was, and I was very nervous about moving forward, and I, I've seen that other companies have done 3D and just give you actually a very clear idea of what the space would look like. And it just made me, I mean, I was excited to do a space, but it just made me nervous and I needed more of a creative mind, a creative idea, a creative landscape of what things could do. Because we had a very large space and so we just wanted someone to, we knew what we wanted, so we just needed someone to help us put the, those pieces into play and into design. And so when you brought that 3D and you showed us that, I was like, oh, I just felt, so much more comfortable and at ease and excited. I'm like, let's do it. <laughs> no hesitation. I did a lot of bad things. So we're talking about ideas right now and I want you to watch this next video. It's all about outdoor kitchen ideas. So it's 15 different ideas on your outdoor kitchen. Talks about bars, talks about refrigerators, talks about grills to use. You're gonna love that video. Enjoy that right now.